The one-way analysis of variance model can be extended, so rather than just looking at multiple groups in a single factor, we can take into account additional factors in our experiment. The simplest extension going from one-way to two-way analysis of variance introduces a second factor with the number of levels as well as a consideration of the interaction between the two factors. So we'll be looking at our commander and how you can fit a two-way analysis of variance model. An example we'll use is one where there is a company that ships parcels between its various offices. So we've got five sub-offices in this example and there are three potential parcel delivery services under consideration. So what the experiment was doing was shipping three parcels from each of the three carriers to the five offices and looking at the average delivery time to see whether or not it's consistent between the different services and the different destinations. So we import the data it's from a text file and it's comma separated um, text file. Click OK select our delivery.csv and now our data has been loaded into our commander. So it says at the bottom 45 rows and 3 columns so we've got our two factors service and destination and the time that it took to deliver the parcel. So what we might want to do is to take a look at the average delivery time for each of the offices and do those calculations for each of the services that are in use. So what we would do there is a plot of the means, our response variable is time, and the two factors we're looking at are service and destination. So we'll calculate the mean time for those combinations and put information on based on standard errors. <clears throat> so we can see from our plot that for the three carriers there seems to be a consistent difference between carrier 2 and carrier 1. The situation with carrier 3 is a bit less consistent. So what we're going to do here is to test whether there are actual differences between the carriers, if there are differences between the offices, which it looks like there are, and whether there's an interaction in there, which this green carrier 3 suggests there might be. So we do statistics means multi-way analysis of variance. We select the two factors that we're interested in and look at the response variable time. So then if we scroll up the output, we can see the analysis of variance table for this model. So is there a difference between the destinations, the five offices? Yes, we've got a very small p-value, so it suggests that on average delivery time is different. So we've got our three services, and again we've got a very significant test here with a very low p-value, suggesting that the three carriers are different in terms of the time that it takes to deliver and the interaction between the two is also important. So the difference between the services depends on which office they're being sent to and similarly the difference between the offices depends on which service is being used. So then we've got a few summary tables. So we've got a table of means for the offices and carriers. So we can quickly see here that carrier 1 appears to be the cheapest and it appears to be the cheapest for all of the delivery destinations and then here we've got information about the standard deviation so how consistent the delivery times but we've only got three observations here for each of those combinations which is shown in this last table so we can then as with a lot of models go to the models graphs basic diagnostic plots and we can see that the residual diagnostic plot looks reasonably good there are only a couple of observations which are slightly out of tune with the rest of the data. The assumption of normality for the residuals, since the data, is also okay for this particular data set. We can see it basically falls on the straight line. <clears throat>